As I arrive to the gym in Toluca Falls, Georgia for the opening round of the 2019-2020 GHSA State Playoffs, I felt a certain calm. After all, this was my fourth straight trip to the postseason and the state tournament. We've been here before. Our team jumped out to an early lead on the homestanding Indians. This open look three put us up nine to four. Early in the contest, I was determined to attack the opponent's basket. And when I wasn't attacking the hoop from the wing, I was able to set up inside the post and be effective as well. Midway through the second quarter, we were down 10 points, but found a way to chip away at their lead with successive trips down the floor. Two falls would battle back and go up six points late in the quarter. Staying aggressive enabled me to get to the free throw line, where I had early success in this game and overall in my entire career. In fact, I had attempted 888 free throws during my four years. In the fourth quarter, a pair of free throws put us up by three points, 47-44, with just over five minutes to play. In the bonus and up by three, I missed the front end of a one and one. The Indians came down the floor and a foul was called on a three point attempt, which stopped the clock. Oh my God. After seeing two of three free throws go in the basket, we were only up by one. After the timeout and on our next possession, I was fouled and split my two free throws, and we held our narrow 50-48 lead with our opponents on the move attacking the basket. My teammate Helen did a nice job of beating the offensive player to the spot. Unfortunately for us, it was called a foul on a made basket and turned into a three-point play, which gave the Indians a 51-50 lead. Fortunately, we still had an opportunity to get back on the scoreboard. With 2.4 seconds left, the balance of the season would ride on this possession. I felt completely relaxed in the moment. Maybe. Because I've been in this situation many times before. Anticipating the double team, but finding a way to get my shot off. Coach called a nice play to get me open on the inbound. My footwork combined with the up top ball whip allowed me to split the double team and put me within close range of the basket. 
When I released the shot, I felt really good. It seemed like the ball was in the air forever, and just like that, it was over. I want to take the time to thank God for blessing me and express my gratitude to all of the people who have supported me throughout the years. Coaches, teammates, referees, classmates, teachers, friends, family, and my parents. And to whoever is watching this video right now. This is not the end, just the beginning. Be sure and click to follow. Make sure to check me out at the In The Lane All-Star Classic, scheduled for March 14th, 2020, where we'll be wearing the throwback Kobe Bryant High School jerseys. Until next time, you've been watching Christina Walker's Varsity Game Time on Christina Girl Hoops TV.